NBA 2K23's first course side report is here and I'm super excited to break down this course side report. We're going to start off with the badge system. Let's get right into it. Welcome to All City Live TV. Make sure to mash that subscribe button and hit that like button. We're going to get into the badge system. The most impactful change. It says new gen badge system only for next gen. The most impactful change when it comes to building players is in the form of a new badge system for a new gen. When looking at the telemetry from previous years, we've noticed that players often gravitated toward the same badges. And as facts, I think everybody could agree, there were a specific set of badges that were just super goaded. And it goes on to say, and as a result, became a little overpowered by stacking certain badges together. This year, we're moving toward a tiered badge system. What do you guys think about a tiered badge system? They're gonna go on to explain. There are 16 badges per attribute category. Eight in tier one, four in tier two, and four in tier three. Tier one badges are the least powerful for your player, but also cost the least amount of badge points. Costs go up, costs for badge points, go up as you climb the tiers and acquire more impactful badges. The basic idea is that you'll need to equip a certain number of badges in the lower tiers before you can equip badges in the highest tiers. Super interesting uh, new badge system in play. We're gonna go over the new badges as well. The motive behind this change was to encourage players to make some tough choices when creating their badge recipes. Make loadouts more valuable as a feature and bring better overall balance to the badge game in general. Along with tiers, we're introducing core badges, which are four unique badge slots one in each attribute category that can be filled with badges that don't count towards your badge points. Each badge will have a challenge requirement that once met will allow the badge to be placed into your core badge slot. So these are the changes. They talk about some badges that were removed and some badges that were added. Slithery makes it easier to gather through traffic, avoiding collisions and strips. Everybody knows Slithery is super goaded. Masher, and this is in the finishing category, Masher increases the ability to finish inside layups over defenders. Aerial Wizard, ability to successfully complete alley-oops and putbacks. It looks like they just renamed certain badges. You know how 2K does. They understand this from their marketing perspective and what the 2K community wants to hear. They like to hear new badges. Badges. So, you know, it, it's kind of a play on words. They just switched the name of these badges that were already incorporated into NBA 2K. The next badge is Bully. Like Giannis and LeBron, able to finish strong by bulldozing through traffic. A removed badge, Hook Specialist, is gone. In the shooting category, Agent 3. Ability to hit difficult three-point shots off the dribble. Awesome to hear. I think everybody loves to take moving threes from the three-point line, I guess Agent 3 is gonna be a change to Circus 3s. Midi Magician, improved ability to knock down mid-range jumpers off the bounce or out of the post like MJ. Amp reduces the shooting attribute penalties when fatigued and when moving excessively prior to shooting. So in the beginning of this uh, course I report, they spoke about your uh, energy depleting if you dribble excessively. And here we go with Amp, a badge that'll help you shoot even though you dribble excessively. So counterproductive to the changes that they made to you, like your energy or stamina bar depleting. Play more increases a spot up shooter's ability to knock down catch and shoot jumpers the longer they remain stationary prior to shooting. Interesting. So Claymore is if you're a set shooter. So if you're a point guard, normally you say you're running five out and if you have a defender collapse, you dot the corner. He's been there for a while. Claymore, if you stood there for a long enough time, Claymore, as you stay there longer and longer, Claymore will boost that shot, helping you knock down more shots as a spot up shooter. Come back kid, a new badge improve the ability to shoot perimeter jumpers while trailing in the game. Interesting, something like clutch shooter. Hand down, man down, makes an outside shooter even deadlier if opponent fails to get a hand in the face. That's gonna be a key badge. Hand down, man down, sounds like it's gonna be a goaded badge 
Uh, Space Creator, formerly a playmaking badge, and now boosts the ability to his step back jumpers and hop shots, and also will cause defenders to stumble more often. Limitless Range, an old favorite, returns, making shooters more effective with any shot attempt from deep three point range. Good to see Limitless Range is back. And these are some of the shooting badges that have been removed. Uh, Chef is gone. Hot Zone Hunter gone. I am heartbroken. Hot Zone Hunter is gone. Lucky Seven is gone. Mismatch Expert has been moved into the playmaking category. Set Shooter, get him out of here. Finally, Set Shooter is gone. Sniper is gone. And Limitless Spot Up is gone in favor of the Limitless Range Shooting Badge. Playmaking, new badges, Killer combos improves the dribbler's effectiveness with size up dribble moves. Basically a combination of last year's quick chain and tight handles badge. Clamp breaker helps ball handlers win more one-on-one -on -one body bump confrontations. The counter to the clamps badge. Vice grip improves ball security immediately after securing a rebound. Awesome! That is great to hear. So Biggs, we finally got it in Vice Grip. Vice Grip is gonna allow you to like better secure the ball after coming down with a rebound. Catch or picking up the ball, great badges for Biggs. Awesome to hear. Mismatch Expert, formerly a shooting badge, this badge now helps smaller guards break down taller defenders when mismatched one-on-one. -on -one. Interesting badge. Remove badges, another heartbreaker. Don't tell me this 2K. Bullet Passer is out of here. Bullet Passer, downhill, glue hands, and stop and go. What a 2K, what is going on? Some of the most goaded badges in Bullet Passer and Stop and Go. Hopefully they get it right. I don't think people wanted a badge to pass better. But if 2K doesn't get this right, I think a lot of 2K players are gonna be heartbroken to see Bullet Passer go, and a lot of playmakers out there are gonna be heartbroken to see Stop and Go out the game. New badges for defensive rebounding. Anchor, a crucial badge for the last line of defense bigs. Improves the ability to block and contest shots in the paint. So that's called the Anchor Badge. Box Out Beast helps rebounders win box out battles on both offense and defensive rebounding situations. Workhorse, the Pat Bev badge that boosts your ability to hustle down 50-50 balls and play hard-nosed defense without getting tired. That's a dope badge. It looks like it combines tireless defender with the hustle badge. So hopefully that ends up working out and coming to fruition really well in the release of NBA 2K23. Glove, named after legendary defender Gary Payton helps you strip players as they gather for shots and poke the ball free from ball handlers. Uh, the next badge is Challenger, improves the effectiveness of perimeter shot contests. That's dope to hear. So they, if they, if they're allowing that to happen, then there must be something done with the Intimidator. It's solely going to be an interior badge, and I think that's what they kind of made happen in NBA 2K22. A removed badge from the game is Defensive Leader. Not too many people going to cry about that. And that completes the list of newly incorporated badges and also the removed badges from NBA 2K for NBA 2K23. What do y'all think about this new badge setup? We are going to go live, so keep it locked here. We'll go live and break this whole thing down, hopefully create some dialogue with you guys. Don't forget to drop a sub, drop a like on your way out. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys very soon on the next video. We're gonna be dropping a ton of videos today.